Hey everybody, it's Donna here. I wanted to share this story. It is a true story. Um, you're gonna be like, this can't be real, but it is. Um, I actually told loved ones this story <laughs> and they kept asking me certain questions because just, it just seemed so insane that it, it couldn't be real. But I was with a friend. So, so she was a witness and I have a restaurant of people <laughs> that witnessed it as well. I, um, I lost my favorite human being this year in February. This is a personal story. I have many stories, but this one's personal, which I'm going to share. And then um, later I'll share the other stories. But we are, I, a lot of questions I get, um, not even just about my life, but in general, um, how do I know my loved one is still communicating with me? How do I know that they hear me? How do, the, how do I know that they're speaking to me? Because they are in a different form. The people who have passed on are in a different form. They're not here anymore. They're not going to go to lunch with you. They're not going to answer your text message, which, you know, there's some people who have crazy stories about weird texts coming through, so you never know. But in general, you... Are not going to have the same relationship with them but if you really do believe that um, they can communicate with you they will communicate with you in the ways that you would understand it so what I mean by that is my godmother who is my favorite person in the world passed away in February and she knew that this is my lifestyle the spirituality lifestyle and I am going to see her through bluebirds. Bluebirds will follow me around. Birds will follow me around. I'll literally be asking her questions in my mind and spirit and um, through my heart. When I say in my spirit and through my heart, I'm asking her questions because I have a lot of life changes going on. And I, I feel like she gives me the answers in different ways. Um, there's some people who also see bluebirds when they think of loved ones. There's another friend of mine I've had that talked about her father being in Bluebird. She knows her father's with her and communicating with her. There's, there's different ways. There's another person who communicates through something that they shared together, a husband and wife, and they shared these items in the house together and they feel like they're communicating through the items in the house. And I 100% believe that they're right. So this was a really tough Halloween for me because it's her birthday. It was my first, I'm gonna try not to cry. Um, and it was her, my, the first birthday um, that I've never had with her because, of course, she was 20-something um, years older. I was her godchild, so I've known her since birth. And I wrote a nice tribute to her on Facebook, and, you know, I wasn't expecting, to, it's funny to say, like, I wasn't expecting to cry, but it's like, sometimes you feel like you've cried, you've cried it all out, right? Like, I've cried so much, and... Um, and I had a really strong cry that morning. My dogs may be obnoxious, just ignore them because I'll never get through the video if I pay attention. So <laughs> um, I had a really big cry that morning and she would have hated that. So just to tell you right off the bat, she, we had lengthy conversations about a lot of things which I didn't want to have because I would just start crying at dinner or crying when we were out. And, um, uh, talking about death and like even when my soul dog died Fenway um, you'll hear me talk about him a lot like she, she just had specific things specific ways that she thought about death and moving on and one was like don't don't do this when I go you know which just gonna make me cry so um, anyway so it's it's Halloween my one of my favorite holidays probably my favorite and I'm not even really celebrating I had um, a lot of work on the weekend so I didn't even do anything and I you know woke up had that really good cry and then I'm like I need to get out of my house because this isn't gonna be a good day if I'm just home all day crying like this is just not gonna be productive so I texted a friend of mine and I was gonna meet her to get some brochures for an event that she was running and I was like hey I'm gonna be up your way like these times and she knows about my godmother and I was like I don't want to stay home and cry all day like just meet me um, I just gotta get out of the house and so we knew there was this other event and we both you know are retailers so we could both go and I was like all right well meet me there like meet me at the event and um, we'll go from there so 
we meet at the event and we're walking around and now it's like way later than I thought. We're both having, we have similar personalities. We like shiny things. It was a, a, you know, a wholesale show, whatever. And we both were enjoying it. And she usually goes with her husband who tells her to stop. (laughs) And I was like, what else can we look at? So it was a totally different experience. And I looked at the time and I started getting really dizzy. And I was like, I really, I have not eaten today and I start, I'm starting to feel dizzy. Can we just get something really quick? I have to get something really quick. It'd be great if we could go to lunch. So we go outside and I have dietary restrictions. I'm gluten-free and I don't eat meat and blah, blah, blah. So I can usually get around the meat thing, but the gluten-free is a little harder. So she wanted to go to this restaurant. I said, you know, I'm let's check because it sounds like this might be a restaurant that doesn't have something for me and I just don't want to you know if you're going out to eat I cook so it's like I want to eat something and enjoy it and you know I don't want to eat just a gross salad when I can make a really good salad at home anyway I'm giving you all the details so uh, that's why it's just I'm the details are what make it because it's just so insane like how everything went down so I um so should we call and they say they have no gluten-free items and then we were gonna go to this other place and we both didn't want that. We both said, we do not want Mexican. Like I found out there's lard in the rice and I, don't, I can't eat um, any kind of uh, meat. So anyway, so we say, let's go to this place where we have this like once a month meetup. So we go there, I get there first. There's a big sign on the door. It's a big place, really, really good food, like really active, big, huge sign, company meeting today. We're not having, we're not seating anybody, whatever. So I'm like, okay. So I text her I'm laughing because we just spent, you know, such a good time trying to figure out a good amount of time trying to figure out where to go. So we get there. That's closed. So I'm like, okay, across the road. So it's an outside mall. I know there's a Thai place I can eat at. There's um, a couple of other restaurants there. I could probably get something. There is a Mexican place. If worse comes to worse, I know I can get something. I'll just get fish or whatever. And so she texts me a minute later and she's like, Thai place is closed, no sign on the door. This is a, a way, like not part of this establishment, it's another establishment. Sign on the door, no sign on the door, no idea why. Carabas, which I think is what it's called, that was closed. So I'm like, maybe there's like an, an outage, like maybe there's some kind, kind of like water issue, like I don't know. And um, I'm like, we're both now tired, it's cold, we're both hungry, I'm getting cranky. <laughs> um, and so I'm like, let's just do Mexican. Like, we both don't want it, like, but that's fine. Like, this, it's here, it's cheap. Like, you know, I know there, I just want salmon, which they probably won't have, but I know I, I've had shrimp there, blah, blah, blah. So we go in there and number one, shrimp, salmon was on the menu, some new item, which <laughs> I was completely shocked. And so I was like, all right, all right. Like, it was making it really easy to eat. So I'm like, that's fine, you know, let's, Let's just stay here. So I ran, went to the restroom. I sit down and then um, I come back to the table and I look over and the table next to us has a man and a woman that's um, a retirement age. And she has exact, she looks similar coloring to my godmother. She dressed differently. I had very similar coloring and her hair was exactly like my godmother. My godmother had red hair, like reddish dark brown hair. And the, the style was like short and um She's like, she just was really pretty. So anyway, so I'm like, I turn back to my friend and I say that that looks like, that reminds me of my godmother. I'm going to try not to cry. So then she looks over. So we're now both looking at this couple and I can't bring myself to explain because I'm just stopped crying. I don't want to cry again. And I'm hundred percent going to cry all over them and ruin their dinner, ruin, ruin my dinner. And so I'm like, you know, I'm just going to have to look rude, which I really hated. It was bothering me that I looked very rude. So anyway, we finish, We talk about a bunch of stuff. We catch up. I haven't seen her in a long time, like one on one. So the bill, the bills come. Two separate bills. The waitress was pretty new, so she was kind of a little, um, you know, she was late and whatever. So I was still eating because I was talking most of the time. So she was now talking and I was eating. So that she dropped off the bills without asking, and I was still eating, which is fine. And um, my friend couldn't find her credit card. So I was like, you know, as long as you have your credit card, that's all I care about because we just went shopping or whatever. I'm like, but I'll just pay. Like it's tacos or whatever it was. It was like, you know, 10 bucks, seven bucks, whatever. And I'm like, I'll just pay. So she was horrified. She's like, no, 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 I'll just, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll find it. It's in here somewhere, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, seriously, like, I'll just pay. It's not a big deal. So we're fighting back and forth. And then finally I was like, 
all right, so I stop eating. I grab both bills. I'm like, I'm just paying for it now because I'm paying for it. Like, it's done. Like, no big deal. Like, you do a million things for me. It's just not a big deal. So I'll just go pay. So I go up to the front, and that couple is in front of me in line. So the lady turns around, and she... This is my dog fighting with the cat right now to make me, like, completely insane. So she turns around and looks at me like, oh, no, that's the crazy lady across the way. I'm not going to... Um, engage because I was kind of rude looking back and forth at them so anyway um, I tap her on the shoulder and I was like hey I'm really sorry I'm gonna try not to cry on you I said this is a really hard day for me like my favorite human being was my godmother and she passed away this year and this is our first today's her birthday and this is the first birthday without her and it's been a hard day and you remind me of her I said you have her hair and you look like her and um, it, it just got it just struck me um, when I saw you there, it just kind of threw me off a little bit. So she got really emotional. Her mouth dropped open and she said, she was, you know, talking as I was talking. She's like, oh my God, that's okay. Like, I totally understand. It's so hard, blah, blah, blah. And then when I said, it's her birthday today, her mouth dropped and she said, it's my birthday today. <laughs> I know you're going to think I'm lying to you. And I swear to God, this is the truth. And I was like, stunned like I was like you're gonna make me cry like I've gotten through this conversation I did not cry I'm really proud of myself and um now I'm gonna cry <laughs> so she's like um that's she's definitely with you she wants you to know she's with you and she loves you and she's saying all these like super nice things which of course a stranger that I just like assaulted trying to just have her Mexican lunch um I was gonna say but then I was like we both hugged we're giving you giving ourselves these hugs and then the husband was paying the bill. So the husband came back over and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's her birthday. I remembered. I remember. It's like he has no clue, like, what just went down. But she was like, she, she, and I, you know, I just couldn't think straight because I was just so insane. Like, we, everything led us to this Mex Mexican restaurant. Everything led us to that exact seat in the Mexican restaurant. Um, and I, if I got there first, I wouldn't have sat there. I would have not liked the seat. And it was really tight and weird like I would have changed seats so everything aligned us to be in that exact moment next to this couple for her to tell me like my godmother knows like I, I she's with me she knows like this is a I'm gonna cry. this is a confirmation that she's around I mean it was like I wasn't supposed to meet this woman that day I was going back and forth I forgot about this other event I was gonna go to we we spent way more time than we were supposed to be there. We wanted to go to every restaurant. We both said no Mexican. <laughs> like we both said it. Like I was like, I, every time I ate Mexican, I had like, like heartburn issues. And she was like, I'm just gonna overeat the chips. <laughs> I don't wanna eat it. And um, it's just such a good story. And that's the part that no one can believe that it was her birthday too. And it, and it was like, and then I got to the front and paid the bills and the women were like, what just happened? And I told them and then the two, um, ladies behind the counter were like oh, this is and they're you know they believe in the, they believe in this and they were just like you know they were starting to cry and they're like we're gonna make us cry and I was like and then my friend when I got back to the table I told her and she like gasped because she knows like how hard it was for us to navigate to just get food and um and it was just completely crazy and she heard some of it she heard me say oh my God, stop, you're going to make me cry. And she's like, oh no, what's happening? She's like, I expected you to come back crying. And I didn't cry um, until later. Um, it's just funny. With grief, you just never know when you're going to cry. But this is one of those stories that I believe in. I believe that people speak to you when they've passed. I believe that they're still with us in a different way. I, I don't need to be convinced that this is um, what it is. But I, th I think this is just one of those times when it, we need to share these stories to give other people hope that may not be on this path. Maybe they're like, this isn't science. This doesn't make sense to me. This doesn't, you know, it's not tangible. And this is as tangible as it's going to get. Something like this where this woman out of nowhere... <laughs> was just having her birthday lunch with her husband who remembered her birthday <laughs> and it all led to me just feeling like it was a heavenly hug from her it was just a way of uh, I 
can't be with her the way I'd prefer to be with her. And this is the best that can happen. And it's a strong message that I think anybody can feel good about. And if there's so much grief and it's really hard. And I feel like the more that we can share these stories and um, give hope to people who are looking for signs and they don't know what to look for, I think it's really powerful and important. But for me, I know that these signs are always going to come up because I do believe in them and I do believe that our bond was that strong. So before I ball all over you, <laughs> I'm going to end this here. Whew, I'm going to put my glasses back on and fog up my glasses. Um, but I hope this brings you some um, inspiration and brings you some hope if you are missing someone that has passed away and for you to believe that the things that seem just completely crazy, like you couldn't even tell somebody because if I was alone, like I, it would have been so much crazier because I'm like, who's going to believe this? But um, I think that it's so powerful for us to share these stories and to start to understand more of the things we don't know. And um, like, I couldn't make this up. Like I couldn't make this story up and for me, it just proves that they can still communicate with us and it's very strong and that love is real. So there I go. <laughs> I'm going to hang up now and dry my eyes and try to get to my other work. But I did want to share the story. I just think it's really powerful and, and I do hope it brings you hope. So thank you so much and um, I hope you're inspired by my godmother story and um, have a great day. Bye.